What is up guys, Dan K Memes here and we are back with the AP8 Wi-Fi Season 2 and uh, we are here with our first battle, Week 1. We don't do well Week 1, historically. But we're going to try and change that. Laximus Black, uh, coach of the Sleeping Snorlax. Uh, the team that we think is going to bring on the screen here, Victini, Mega Heracross, Tapibulu, Lantern, uh, Noivern and Snorlax. Um, what, meanwhile we have Blastoise, Garchomp, Togekiss, Miltank, Scrafty and Cloyster. Uh, so... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of sort of, what sort of lead? I can see him leading Snorlax, or or maybe Voltorb with Lantern. Um, I'm probably going to lead Miltank just to get my rocks up. Try to get my rocks up. Um, possibly Thunderwave or something. I think we have Thunderwave on this set. I need to set up my Calcs, which is a good point. Da -da -da -da. Um, I just need to actually find my team if I can. Let the battle begin. We'll see what Monty is going to bring. Du -du -du -du. Waiting for other players. What's he doing? Okay. Our team is in the calcs, which is nice. Nice and calcs. Du -du -du -du. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Trying to scramble to get everything ready for this. Um... We will change the team on the layout if it is any different to what we think it is. Um, what TB saying? So um, anyway, uh, draft stream happened. Draft analysis was last week. God, we are so far in advance. I can't even think what's going on. Um, if you missed it, go check it out because it kind of details all 11 mons that we have, why the reason that we've picked them, how the team aims kind of sort of work together. We're going to see now his six mons. Uh, Mamoswine, Venomoth. Oh, okay. No Bulu, no Mega Heracross. This is nice. This is nice. Right. Um, so, Venomoth there. Venomoth there. Um, Mamoswine there. No Bulu. That is nice. Um... I need to choose my lead. I, I'm still going to lead Miltank. Um, I'm going to take my time choosing <laughs> choosing the one just so I can get set up. Um, what is it? Metagross he's got there. Duh, 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 duh. Victini, Snorlax. No Noivern. Just Fer a Ferrothorn. Not Ferrothorn. Fortress. Mm -hmm. duh, duh, duh. There it is. Right. Okay. So we are ready to go. I am fucking nervous. Um, the lineup makes me feel a little bit better than I did before. Um, what I do, I would like as a notepad, but I don't have one. Um, bit of paper. Bit of paper will do lovely. Ooh, right, first week. Let's try and get a win for week one. See what he leaves off Meatball, which is probably the Snorlax. No, it's a Fortress. Okay. Uh, we don't have Fire Punch on the mill tank. Um, okay, um, it's a shiny one. Oh, very nice. Right. So he might just try and get his rocks up here. Um, which would be a fine play. What I think I'm going to do... I need, to get my, my, <laughs> I need to get my DS charger, man. I'm all over the place. Um, I think I might just go straight in... I th I'm tempted to just go straight into Scrafty. I'm tempted to go straight into Scrafty. Because, like, what can he actually do? Nah, I'm, I'm alright. Mm. I'm going to go... Sh mm -hmm. I don't know whether I should do it or not. I, should, I don't think I should risk it, to be honest. I think... I have Fire Fang on, on Bruce. I'm going to go into Bruce. I'm going to go into Bruce, uh, our Garchomp. Uh, if he wants to get his rocks up, that's absolutely fine. He goes to Toxic Spikes. Okay. Uh, we don't have any... Oh, no, we have Defog. We have Defog on Togekiss. So that's okay. Um, I'm tempted to go for a Swords Dance. Very tempted to go for a Swords Dance. Or I could Fire Fang. Actually, no, I'm going to go for a Fire Fang. I'm going to go for a Fire Fang. Just uh, pressure this thing a bit. Get rid of it sturdy. 
See what he wants to go for? Goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay, he's just getting his hazards up. Which is absolutely fine, honestly. Um, so we see on the Fortress, Leftovers, Toxic Spikes, and Stealth Rock. Rocks. Da, 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 da. Um, tempted to just go for a, f for a Fire Fang again. Or I could predict... I'm tempted to go for an Earthquake. Very tempted to go for an Earthquake. Or I could Swords Dance. Looking at his team... Nothing really pressures me that much. Except for maybe like Scarf, HP, Ice, Victini. But even though I don't know if that would kill me. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, my guard chomp set is Bruce. Um, a Victini. Um, Choice Scarf. HP Ice. Level 50. Wouldn't take me out. So I'm just going to go for a Swords Dance. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. Fuck it. He stays in. Probably, if he's, is he going to get his other, his other layer of Toxic Spikes up? Yeah, he is. So, we can always defog them, them away later, but we're in, a, we're in a fine position right now, to be honest. We are in a fine position. Um, we are at plus two. Uh, a Gyro Ball wouldn't do too much to me. I keep looking at the level 100, one, level 100 uh, damage calcs. Um, we can just EQ, but I'm temp I think I just... EQ kills, EQ kills. There's no reason not to go for it. No reason not to go for it. See if he wants to preserve this thing for later. It's, it looks like a suicide lead. He's, he's left it in with a fire fang, you know. So I think he's happy for it to go down. Uh, thing is, right, okay. Let's have a look at Metagross with, with like, Ice Punch. He does withdraw. He withdraws. Twigs. What's the Twigs? Twigs is the Metagross. This is going to hurt. Oh, Air Balloon. Air Balloon, you little shit. Okay, Metagross with an Air Balloon, right. Level 50. A Meteor Match does less than 50%. A Fire Fang doesn't quite take it out. This is if he is um, very bulky. So I'm going to go for Fire Fang. In the hopes that he's not a bulky set. He is not a bulky set. That drops. That drops. See you later, Metagross. Um, Garchomp gets a kill for <laughs> almost straight away against the Metagross. Um, Fire Fang against Metagross. Woo! What's that? Okay. What's he bringing out now? The Snorlax. Okay. What can Snorlax do? Standard Curse Lax. Um, show me Ice Punch. See how much an Ice Punch does. Ice Punch does 71 to 84. An Earthquake doesn't KO, but again, this is if he is a bulky set. Um, again, I'm honestly happy to just go for an Earthquake. See how much this does. That's dropping. That dropped. Dead. Dead. Dead Snorlax. Wow. Wow. Garchomp putting in the work. Putting in the work. Earthquake kills the Snorlax. This is a very, very nice start. Just, uh, we'll get rid of the, um, we'll get rid of them on the layout. Whilst I'm looking at it. Mamoswine comes out now. Ice Shard. How much is that going to do to me? If he has it. Oh, wrong one. Mamoswine. Mamoswine. Physical attacker. Level 50. If he's Scarf. Surely, if he was Scarf, he would have brought it out already. Surely, if he was... Oh, actually, an Ice Shard actually kills me. Oh, an Ice Shard actually kills me. If he's Life Orb. <laughs> uh, an Ice Shard actually kills me. That's pretty wild. 
Um, I want to keep this thing around. So I think I'm just going to switch. Um, I think I'll just switch into mill tank. I think I'll just switch into mill tank. The other guy. Because uh, long as shot does absolutely nothing. I'm just going to go mill tank. I'm just going to go mill tank. Don't want to risk that ice shards because I say, I say if it's life orb, it does kill me. Oh, we do get poisoned, which is it's not a problem. Not really, not really a problem for for mill tank. Where's for avalanche? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, avalanche always moves last, right? Maybe he's sash. Maybe he's sash mamoswine. Maybe that was his thinking. Um, I could be wrong on avalanche to be honest. But, um, what I want to do, I, I, I'm just going to get rocks up, just to damage Victini, and also Venomoth. See who he wants to go for. If he wants to go for an Earthquake, then Earthquake does about 38 to 46. Oh no, he revealed that he wasn't Life Orb there. As I say, we, possible Focus Sash. Possible Focus Sash. But, it wouldn't really make any sense to me why it would be Focus Sash, because he, he would have he sent it in before. To be honest, I pr I probably could have stayed in with Garchomp, but I didn't want to risk it. Garchomp probably could have swept, you know, like all six kills sort of thing. Um, his Ferrothorn is obviously very low. The Lantern is sitting there. Um, we just get our rocks up here. We just get our rocks up and see what he wants to go for. Another Avalanche, maybe? Iron Heads. Iron Heads. Okay. Uh, not too much. Not too much damage. Leftovers pops. Um, Mamo. We see Avalanche. And Iron Head. Right. Now. I have to start thinking. I have to start thinking. I think Gaston walls this thing completely, right? Um, but I'm thinking. I have. I can't really put that Gaston in there. Because I don't want him to get poisoned. But I, at this point. I'm not, I'm not sure it matters too much. I'm not sure it matters too much at this point. I'm just going to go Gaston. I'm going to go Gaston. Uh, hope for the Iron Head or the Avalanche. See what he wants to go for. Go to Stone Edge. Stone Edge. Not bad. That's some damage. That is some damage. Um, we can Mega Evolve now. And we can just go for a Water Pulse. Um, Water Pulse definitely kills. Aura Sphere has a chance to kill. Um, he could be Water Absorb Lantern. I'm not just going to Rapid Spin. Do I Rapid Spin? No, I think I just Water Pulse. I think it's the safe thing. Alright, Aura Sphere. <laughs> I'm just going to Water Pulse. So this is the safe thing to do. If he wants to go Lantern, that's fine. He does withdraw. Probably goes Lantern. Water Absorb Lantern. Meatball. It goes into Snort. Oh, wait, what's Meatball? Oh, the for the Ferrothorn. No, Fortress. Stop calling it Ferrothorn. <laughs> Fortress. I know it's weak to fucking... Um, I know weak to fire. That's what I know. Um, see how much this Water Pulse does. Uh, hopefully, quite a bit. I could have I could have Rapid Spins, the thing. Uh, the, Ferro the, for <laughs> the Fortress goes down uh, to Blastoise. With a water pulse. Water pulse. Um, fortress. Now, be interesting to see who he wants to go out to. V wheel, that is definitely the Victini. And to be honest, I think a bolt strike will hurt. I think a bolt strike's going to hurt. Garchomp could be a good answer here. I think I can just go Garchomp. Um, if he has Glaciate, I don't know how, I don't know how common Glaciate is, um, but we can definitely take a V-Create, or an Energy Ball, or obviously a Bolt Strike does nothing, um, because we are at max. To be honest, I'm tempted to sack Snorlax, no, it's not Snorlax, Blastoise, um, just to see what he wants to go for, see if we can learn a bit more about his set. 
Um, I kind of just want a rapid spin because I don't want I don't want Bruce to get poisoned. He probably just goes for a bolt strike. Honestly, he probably just goes for a bolt strike. But do I want to risk that? Do I want to risk that? I honestly, I think the best thing is to just sack Gaston. I'm sacking the 6-0. Um, but I have to kind of make sure I get the win first. He goes for a Zen Headbutt. Victini Zen Headbutt. I'm f fully f defensive, so we live that. And um, we get rid of all these hazards, which is nice. Zen Headbutt. Okay, so you are potentially, a f a f probably a physically offensive Victini. God, Gaston lives on 9 HP. Uh, we're going to switch out now. Um... Honestly, I'm tempted to go into Scrafty. Because Scrafty, with Intimidate, straight edge the Scrafty. Um, a V-Crate still does a lot if he has it. I think that's what I'd do. I think I'd just go Scrafty. I think I'd go Scrafty here. Um, if he hits me with something, then fair enough. Intimidate. We lower that attack as he goes for a Zen Headbutt. Nice. That's beautiful, beautiful little play. Um, and we are pretty much free to go for a knockoff. I'm tempted to bulk up. But I don't want to risk the V-Create. Because two V-Creates kills us. I'm just going to go for a knockoff. I think it's a safe thing to do. Uh, he does withdraw. So we'll see what comes out here. Vinam. That's the, the Venomoth, surely. He takes 25% from rocks. We knock off whatever item he has. That did a lot. Wow! See you later, Venomoth. See you later, Venomoth. Scrafty gets a kill with knockoff. Knockoff. Uh, out comes the Mamoswine. Oh, it's not. he doesn't have Lantern. I'm dumb. I didn't change that in the thing. <laughs> All you people are probably looking at us going, Dan's an idiot. Dan's an idiot. Dan's an idiot. The Mamoswine was even out earlier. And I didn't even realise. I'm dumb. Um, question is, what does Mamoswine do to me? Um, level 50 doesn't do a lot. Um, this is with an Intimidate drop, so I don't want that. An Earthquake kills. No, it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill at all. I can just Drain Punch, man. I can just slow Drain Punch. I can just slow Drain Punch, I'm pretty sure. Earthquake. This should do 60 to 72. That did, that did just over half. Why is Scrafty so bulky? Scrafty gets another kill! Beautiful. Scrafty, drain punch. Drain punch. Oh my god, my pen is so bad. I can't even read it. Um, Victini comes out now. Mamo Swine. Uh, right, and we just knock off. We, he can't kill us now. We just knock off, and that it should be the game. That should be the game, barring some weird stroke of misfortune. V-Create comes in. So, by my calcs, it shouldn't kill me. That HP dropped fast. 29 HP. We live on, uh, and a knock off here. Oh, my berry. I forgot my berry. My berry's going to pop me back up to a bit of health. Or a bit more health. Um, which is nice, and the knockoff comes in, takes out the Victini, and Scrafty gets an impressive three kills in this match. Uh, it was he was Scarf Victini, he was Scarf Victini. What I was scared of. Um, so that's cool. So uh, a six zero win, guys, to kick us off. Let's just get rid of uh, the ones on the, his side. Uh, a six zero win, cracking start to the, to the to the season. We know, as I said, we normally lose week one. Uh, so absolutely. Over the moon. We'll say over the moon to kick off with a 6-0. Uh, very good game, Lax. I will save the battle video. Um, and I will go in there. Spoilers. Uh, GG, dude. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, like, I, honestly, I had such a tough time prepping for the, for this team. Um, there's a lot of offensive stuff. And when I didn't see the Mega Heracross, I didn't see the Tapu Bulu, I was quite happy. Um, quite happy because they threatened me. Didn't see the Northern... Um, not even I was less worried about than the other two, but um, those are the three things I was kind of mainly concerned about. Um, once Garchomp was able to set up at first, really good start. Um, applied so much pressure. To be honest, we probably could have stayed in with Garchomp and swept the whole team, but 
Um, I didn't want to risk that with the ice shard and everything. So I think we did the right stuff. Um, and to get worker 6 0 around that was really, really good. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed today's battle, guys, make sure you smash the like button down below. Make sure you sub because this is our new channel. Um, and week two is going to be coming at you. I'm not sure who we're playing yet. Uh, APA Wi Fi season two. I will check it for you right now. Cloisters. Uh, scroll across to the other side. The Colorado Rapidash. Moonlight Swami. So uh, we'll be bringing you that next week, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.